Morning. I wasn't going to do another recording of myself this morning. But I'm going to. And as I entered the mountain here, two nice families that were also entering. And it looks like they well behind me. Looks like they're pretty new as well to the mountain. Lots of little kids taking their kids for a walk. What you actually had was one vehicle waiting for the other. And once both of them were together, you just had lots of people making full use of this off time. The first walk, first part of this walk is going to be very familiar terrain. You remember the stream that we crossed, the stream that we actually walked in. This is for anybody who actually watches these videos. It's also my memory for myself that stream that we walked down we're going to be crossing and we're going to be going to a new place a new place well a place that i haven't recorded like this with a gopro yet Probably see me getting a real move on with things here. It's just that was the stream that we've just crossed that we were at before. There's a program I watch. Well, it's on YouTube actually. It's not like made up in specific episodes. This guy just goes camping quite often in the mountains. Canadian guy. Joe is his name. He's got something like over a million subscribers. And I can understand why he's so laid back. Loves going on his canoe. Loves fishing. Also likes to sort of be by himself. If it ever happens once in a blue moon that there are any people. It's also more. Morning, how are you, what have you, 
all over and done with. Now, there is a path that actually, as far as I can tell, used to belong to the Department of Forestry. It actually ends up leading across the railway line at the top. This year I have not recorded lately. And what you can't record here is how nice it smells here. Really smells fantastic here with this forest here. What I am hoping to see are some things that stand out like a mushroom or something with a bright colour I firmly believe we're heading into the direction of where the baboons are but I think that they're further up there somewhere Lots of green grass here for any bokis that might be around. God, I had a weird dream last night. Borrowing a bicycle and the bicycle is at the top of a hospital. The bicycle must come down from the top of the hospital. I mean some country towards India somewhere watching these massive thunderstorms through the windows there then there's an explosion in the room where the bicycle is and uh, keep somebody's flash drive because of files on it I need to delete those files all in a combination what a weird dream Now this year was from other fire. See those black marks there? Many, many years ago. Over 20 years ago. I'll tell you why I know it was over 20 years ago because there hasn't been a fire yeah, in the 22, 23 years that we've been here. So, and that was like that when we moved in. Oh, got a bulky spur. It would really, really be nice to walk two or three of these ones that I've recorded lately after we've had 20, 30, 40, 80 millimeters of rain. Because things can be very spectacular, very pretty. I'm surprised that this water is running at all here, but it is. And this year is just white with water coming down that rock there from side to side when there's been good rain looks good sounds good very spectacular yeah right at the top there's a pipeline that is currently in use And on we go, on we go. I was glad to see some water running there. I thought it's gonna be bone dry, 
we haven't had any decent rain for ages. I think the last time we had any decent rain was, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago at least. And for George, that means dry. If we haven't had decent rain in weeks, that's dry for us. Other places would say months. Now, have a look here. Mushrooms, lots of them. That should make a nice photo. getting to the stage where one must check your watch this is a this is quite a pretty area I like this here indigenous forest some ferns accessible trail This all carries on for about three kilometers if one wants to get to a dirt road where one would then turn left and walk another three and a half maybe four kilometers to the old dam but we're not going to walk the full three kilometers of this trail today Another. This is why I like this trail so much. Nothing running here now, but once there's been good rain, this is a third waterfall that can really look quite pretty as well. So there's no doubt in my mind that I might come and do a similar recording like this with a GoPro once we've had some decent rain. And you can compare what you see now to what one would see then and the different sounds of all the water. Personally, I think what one needs is a flash flood of some kind, some huge flood to actually open up some of the overgrowth in some of these streams, little river streams, call them what you like. I actually think like a, an extremely quick 150, 200 millimeters of rain would do the world of good. Hey, the water is running here, albeit very slowly. Let's carry on. Yeah, used to see a bucky or two. Often when I went to the old dam, I used to walk this trail instead of the railway line. I've gotten onto the railway line now.
<coughs> and a few times I walked here, I used to see a book here too on the odd occasion. I actually slept quite well last night. <coughs> Six hours flat. Okay, look. all of this open here used to be an old water line. Possibly the main and only water line. So it was opened and that's what I don't understand. Why people need to open up 20 meters this side and 20 meters that side of a water pipe. But anyway, that was done before our time here in George. And what you can see is great evidence of what happens when we've opened up, opened up a indigenous piece of forest. You've got wattle trees taking over in this open space here. There you've got indigenous opened up your pipeline, which is in no working order anymore. And wattle trees invade and take over. And just on the other side there is a whole line again where the other indigenous spot starts. <coughs> this year is all indigenous. Jesus. Some other people also were walking fairly far. They will behind me. Well behind me. It's uh, Glad for their sake, if they enjoying it. Time for a photo. I think those two cars with all the kids happen to choose exactly the same trailer as I'm walking now. And they also strike me as people that have discovered this trail. And probably love the forest. I think I'm going to make a U-turn, cross them, back to the other side so they can carry on. Anyway, this is what it looks like, and one carries on and carries on until one gets to a road. There is something that worries me a bit. Something that worries me a bit. Um, I've seen teenagers in the past, long before this lockdown, long before we even knew about Corona. I've seen teenagers go and spray paint rocks at the most beautiful waterfall. They go and spray rocks with graffiti 
and have a pot or two smoking there. At that stage, they were the only small handful of people that would know about these places. Now, with the amount of people, although they're all nice people, what worries me is that word could spread to not so nice people who didn't know about the trails. Nice, be nice people that end up spreading the word unintentionally to those kind that would spray paint all the rocks. That worries me a bit. And uh, it's unlikely to happen, but it's possible. Everyone you've seen so far is happy, chappy, taking the kids and what have you. Maybe that is where this problem I have with people started. When the only people I would see ages ago would be teenagers. Uh, busy smoking. When I say smoking, not smoking a normal cigarette like I'm doing right now. But smoking their pot and what have you. And vrachtig spray painting a rock, the most beautiful rock at one of the waterfalls. Please, let this huge amount of people that are now coming in not manage to spread the word to those kind of people that would do that if they discover this. Maybe that's why I'm so concerned. Check this here again. We're on our way back, by the way, now. If we can get this camera to... I'm just trying to turn this camera here. This tree always makes for a good photo. Nice that everyone seems to have avoided stepping on them here because they crossed the trail here. No, please don't tell me somebody stepped on them here.
Hier kom hy mooi, een van die mooie inneemse gedeeltes weer. Hier is iets anders te waan ek gedink het. Al die mense wat nou geleentheid gebruik om bykie uit te kom, is dit mense wat graag by die werk so wil wees. Al hierdie wat mens die voorheen gesien het nie, is dit mense wat by die werk so gewees het vandag, tegen hierdie tyd nou, nie so by acht uurse kant. Al die kinders wat definitief in school gewees het. Al die lyk lekker gechill, soos die Engelsman sê, wat die mens laat wonder of hulle eindelijk bekommerd is oor wat het is wat hulle sou gedoen het in hierdie tyd as het nie lockdown was nie. Mooi, oor die vols Al hierdie was redelijk oop gewees. Nou is het haai indringer goed. En hoekom? Omdat die brand hier afgekom het en om trein daar gestop het. So hierdie boom is dood. En waar daar een brand was, is daar nou een infiltratie van een weirende wat die woord ook al is. Uitjense goed. Luister na die voels. Kijkie, hierdie boom groei nog, lekker plek vir een nes of een slang of iets miskien, so hol hieronder. Lekker levendige boom nog.
pieces of forest like here are untouched. What is here now, was here now, was here 20 years ago. So, niks het hier gebeur nie. Precies die selfde behalwe vir bome wat nou hoer gegroei het in hierdie tyd. Gaan bykie donker wees op die video. van een rooie lucht soos waar die son nou begin opkom, opgekom het aan die ander kant het skyn nog net nie hier op hierdie stadium nie kan miskien moeilijk op die foto Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video, I don't know why I'm so adamant to keep recording myself, it's only lately that I've started doing it, and uh, I'll record for another two or three minutes, and uh, at least today, what's this, a fourth recording, at least today we've been on something different again. And I'll just have to think where we can possibly go next time. I have an idea. But uh, hopefully I did keep quiet at some places where you could actually hear the birds. So you know van het tijd. I'll make ik weer a recording and I hope you'll have it from today. I will nog record tot, tot in the stroompie and then I can net so well uh, record omdat het redelijk bekend is daarna. Anyways, zoals ik zei, we hebben jullie het geniet mensen.